We are live. Hello, everyone. I hope you all are safe and sound. Thank you for joining us today for the most awaited award ceremony for Codever 2020 AI. 2020's biggest international AI and coding competition for kids. I welcome you all on behalf of the entire team of STEMpedia. Codever is an international coding competition organized annually by STEMpedia to encourage kids to bring out their inner programmers and make innovative projects with Pictoblocks. Codeva 2020 AI brought us in touch with many amazing personalities out there, be it our sponsors, our partners, or our very dear participants. Codeva 2020 AI has successfully concluded on Jan 5th, 2021, with about five and a half thousand teams from almost a hundred countries. About 10,000 students and hundreds of educators across the globe received training in artificial intelligence and machine learning directly from STEMpedia. To make the competition reach every corner of the world, over a hundred schools and activity centers, STEM and STEAM businesses and community outreach partners join hands with us and for this glorious mission. On this note, I'd like to thank our sponsors, Motwani Jadeja Foundation US, Telet Republic, Maxico, STEM.org US, Liligo China, Center of Digital Technology, LBCM, Zafire Toys, LC JLC PCB China, Community Partners, India AI, Agastya International Foundation, India STEM Alliance, Shiro's, Play to Transform, dozens of businesses and academic partners for helping us make Codever 2020 AI a great success and motivating thousands of students across the globe to bring out the innovator inside them. I once again thank every single one associated with Codever 2020 AI on behalf of STEMpedia. Before moving ahead, we have a small surprise for our viewers today. We are giving away an AI learning kit to five lucky winners to help you kickstart and continue on your AI and robotics learning journey. Please fill out the forms sent in the comment section and stay tuned till the end of the ceremony for the results. Moving forward, I'd like to introduce you to our esteemed dignitaries for the evening. Mrs. Asha Jadeja Motwani an influential investor and philanthropist based in Silicon Valley and the founder of the Motwani Jadeja Foundation, also the title sponsor of Codeva 2020 AI. Mr. Abbas Gabajiwala, the director of Zafaya Toy Makers Private Limited, one of India's largest toy manufacturing companies and also one of our prime sponsors of Codeva 2020 AI. And finally, our very own Mr. Abhishek Sharma, the chief visionary officer and one of the terrific trio who gave birth to STEMpedia. A heartly welcome to all of you and thank you for gracing the event with your presence. Let's begin, by, let's begin the show by Mr. Abbas Gabajiwala. Mr. Abbas Gabajiwala, the director of Zafaya Toys, a household name which believes that play is the soul of child's learning journey. Founded in 1983, Zafaya Toys is a proud owner of some of India's most well-known toy brands like Mechanics Blix and Red Bus. Zafaya has won more than 50 awards, including the most prestigious Make in India Award by the Government of India two years in a row. Mr. Abbas is also the founder of Blix Robotics. Thank you so much, Mr. Abbas, for joining us here today. Please grace the audience with your wisdom. Thank you so much, Jennifer. I hope uh, everyone can hear me quite clearly. Um, so thank you so much for this opportunity to talk to all of your uh, students and all of the participants as well. I mean, you have done a fantastic job because uh, coding and STEM education, I know, is, is a big talk of the town and for good reason, right? I mean, that is what the future holds. So um, I would like to share a few of my experiences and the learnings that I've had along the way uh, towards what the world of education is going ahead. 
and uh, all of that experience i thought i'd try and put bring it all together right for uh, all of you uh, but before that i want to tell i want to congratulate code code ever on such a fantastic event and such a fantastic competition i mean uh, reaching 99 countries most of them all different people from different languages and different uh, nationalities different type of cultures all coming together to compete with one another on uh, logic and uh, you know making a code which is um, which is quite an interesting competition and it would be such a great learning experience for all the participants as well and i hope that your this these kind of competitions keep growing bigger and bigger till the whole world you know starts doing coding and starts competing with each other to create the best kind of code and the best kind of programmers um so congratulations big congratulations to you guys uh, real kudos um so now i just want to start on a little presentation that i have uh to give a little bit of idea as to i mean bring all of the experiences that i've had together just give me a second i hope you all can see my screen okay so blix robotics was an offshoot of uh, zephyr toy makers one of india's largest toy companies and uh, i've been designing mechanics toys since the last 10 years right and in its entire life uh, mechanics has been played by more than 20 million children all around the world and so every child that plays with the mechanics we know that it has that unique experience or that unique um, uh, uh, whatever a unique experience that the child has is very particular to each and every child so we are very proud of the fact that uh, a lot of children might have been inspired to be engineers or inspired to do start thinking thinking and all of that because of our products and uh, with all of that experience of developing toys and Uh, dealing with children with mechanics we created blix robotics a method of how programming can be made much easier because we realized that education uh, was changed the world was changing very fast and education was not changing as fast right the formal education system so we thought that why don't we uh, add on some more value to it by giving hands on experience uh, to children for on logic and things like that so one thing first of all what we wanted to do was we wanted to prepare children for the future so to do that we wanted to predict the future right but clearly it is not possible to predict the future and if you could then these massive corporations which were like the biggest uh, behemoths at their own time right they wouldn't have gone down under uh, so quickly i mean uh, so suddenly and so quickly because at a snap of your fingers the world changes and changes all around us so if you want to predict the future how do we really do it right so these are the uh, five top companies today and we know them i mean starbucks in its coffee google in its search apple in its uh, consumer products home depot hilton in it, its hotels so these are the greatest companies in the world right today in the fields at least that they they are competing in and they all have something in common today and that is that none of these companies today are looking for a degree when you go for a job right so you can see these articles on glass door 15 more companies that no longer require a degree um these call these companies will hire you even without a college degree this is forced by the times of india talking the times of india talking about uh, success is based on studying and having a job as a creativity so this was a concern that steve wozniak had brought up um uh, towards the education system Google, Apple, and twelve other companies that no longer require employees to have a college degree, and this is to the extent of uh, even formal programming, uh, what you call programming jobs, like which the software companies might be having, and coding, which you guys are doing, right? And many of you all might be younger than what graduates might also be uh, doing your own coding. So uh, Stanford University had come out with this concept called uh, pre-mortem studies, which I wanted to discuss with you guys because I think it will be quite relevant and. Uh, what that said was that uh, a lot of companies know we kind of uh, look at them and we um, uh, once the company dies like for example kodak once it goes bankrupt or some it, it is no longer uh, relevant in the world stage in the industry that they are from only once they die do we go back and see why they died right that's called post mortem pre mortem studies is where you create where you kind of uh, come up you kind of study the environment study the business landscape and figure out why a company is going to die so you're doing it preemptively and that's why it's called pre mortem studies so the first thing stanford university did when they created this particular format to do the study was try it out on themselves and what they realized was that the biggest competitor for stanford wasn't uh, 
um, Harvard or Oxford, but it was actually these new companies like Coursera and things like that, that where you can Khan Academy like that, where you can learn all of these courses online for much cheaper. Because uh, as you can imagine, right, uh, the youngest billionaire today was uh, is uh, Ritesh Agarwal, the founder of uh, Oyo Rooms. And uh, he never went to a fancy college and did his MBA internationally. He was born in a small uh, town and he was able to build one of the largest companies from there because of all of the experiences and information that he has been able to get on his own. Um, now, a few examples of how companies are looking for these uh, these people in the future, you know, if you're looking for a job. <clears throat> so this was a billboard that was uh, visible for on uh, on in Silicon Valley at a particular time. And there were a lot of these billboards. There's no brand name, there's no company name, there's no logo, nothing. So most people will look at this and ignore it. A few people were curious enough to kind of figure out what exactly is this. They would want, you know, they asked uh, that question. And a much smaller percentage of them were curious and capable of solving this equation. So they went on this website, they solved the equation, they went on the website and it took them to Google's hiring page. So that's how Google was shortlisting the most creative and the most intuitive students or the most uh, creative uh, candidates in the first round itself through how they were looking for uh, students rather than going for the typical placement uh, or to all the top universities that a lot of these top companies go to. Another example is this where Volkswagen actually um, had intentionally put a small little error problem in a car, uh, manufacturing problem in the car, and they routed that problem to this box. And any smart mechanic or engineer would be able to identify that, okay, the root cause of this problem is in this box. And when they would open it, there would be a plaque called mechanics wanted. And that's how they got the best mechanics who could really creatively identify a problem. Again, Ogilvy won the world's greatest salesperson campaign, where what they did was, they instead of going to the top MBA colleges again for placements, they actually uh, asked all the candidates who wanted to work for them, who wanted to become salesmen with them. Uh, they asked them to create a shoot a video of themselves trying to sell a brick. Right now, um, uh, and from and you post it on YouTube, and they will see all of those videos. And if they find your pitch for a brick interesting, they would actually give you a job. So, you know, they're all finding, all these massive companies are today finding uh, candidates who are creative and innovative and have critical skills, you know, like cognition and uh, problem solving skills. So I feel that because of, you know, the world is heading over there. Like today, what these companies are doing five, 10 years from now, every company will be doing this. They'll, they'll not be looking for degrees, but they'll be looking for real skill. And that's, I think, going to radically change the world of education in the next uh, few years. And platforms like Codever are preparing kids today for that kind of a world. So I think it's uh, fantastic. And STEMpedia, of course, who we are working with uh, while we, for all of our hardware, we are working with them, providing the software and kids can take this uh, product together and kind of build their own robots and program them to do some task or the other through picture blocks, uh, STEMpedia's programming platform. So one example of the one, a few stories I would like to share of these kids who actually build things and, you know, and while they're building, how their cognition is being developed. So this is Atharva. And what he did was he went for one of our Blix courses, robotics courses, and he wanted to build a gearbox, which was far more powerful than what any other gearbox, far more torquey than any other gearbox that uh, our course particularly had. So he started borrowing some gears from his friends and he built this particular gearbox and this a uh, shaft that you can see, which looks all swirly, swirly, it was straight, but the torque that was created because of all these multiple gears uh, actually twisted it into forming that. So the rigid plastic shaft actually twisted like that. And that's how he experienced what torque is and how he can use torque for different applications. So it's far better than reading all of these concepts from a textbook, right? And uh, learning them through formulae and uh, definitions. Another example is this little girl, Nobo. She built a robot whose hands are waving to learn how uh, mechanisms like uh, uh, linkages work. And instead of just keeping a robot as it is, she put some dumbbells in his hand. So he's now a bodybuilder. So that's where the creativity and the imagination really comes to power because uh, children have a lot more imagination and over time kind of it settles down with the reality of the world. And we want to keep that alive, right? Because all great innovations don't happen by following a book. They always happen by imagining what a future could be. And it could be very different from what we have. Now, that's what Elon Musk has done with Tesla as well. Here is Pratyush. He made a small massage for his, himself. 
here is this little girl who from a school and uh, when she finished building the model which she was first in her class in one of our courses of blix she was first in her class and when she brought the model in front the teacher actually had tears in her eyes right because uh, this little girl who was not great at her studies who was not great at sports who was not really great at anything and who didn't have the confidence in herself to um uh, be able to say that she can compete with the world or she's got her own skill because schools don't really uh, uh, notice these kind of skills you know in in normal academics but with blix she was able to finish it first and when she came out the teacher was so happy and she like that this child has never been first at something in her life and this is this is making her really happy because this gives her the confidence that she can really do something and by the end of the class in the next session third session she was building and all of her friends and students would be surrounding her to see what she's doing and it was such a fantastic moment right i mean we want all these kids to excel at what they do and uh, and 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 things like blix robotics and things like even stempedia and uh, pictoblocks particularly does this really well it, it teaches the children these skills these life skills that they need for the future so i think all of the people who are listening to me and listening to this entire award ceremony today are already on the track because they are either participants or teachers or some or academics or somebody right so i think that you all would understand the value and we need to be able to spread this word a lot more in the future um so thank you so much i think that's that's all i have to share at this point um if you have any questions or contact i mean anything that you would like to ask me that you're most welcome or otherwise we can take this forward thank you so much jennifer for this opportunity Thank you so much, Mr. Abbas. It was indeed an enlightening speech, and thank you once again for being the prize sponsor of Codeva 2020 AI. Most welcome. Now I request Mr. Abhishek Sharma to take the stage and motivate kids to get their hands dirty. Mr. Sharma is the chief visionary officer and the co-founder of Stempedia, India's most renowned global experiential learning brand, an alumnus of the prestigious Indian Institute of Technology. Kanpur Mr Sharma and his team had a vision of making quality stem education accessible to kids across the globe which eventually gave birth to Stempedia within a few years Stempedia has touched the lives of hundreds of thousands of children across more than 5000 countries with its futuristic hardware DIY kits graphical programming software project making mobile application exceptional online courses and tons of technology learning resources transforming the world into one global stem community mr sharma the stage is yours thank you jennifer thank you uh, for such a lovely introduction and i can see a lot of uh, young children uh, in the attendees list today so uh, i i try to start uh, i try to uh, tell you a story of something which i came across very recently right So I think all of us, all these children, why, why are you doing this? Why are you trying to learn these new things, right? You all, all of you, want to be successful. So let me begin by talking about what is success. Right? A million years ago, if you were somebody who knew how to put stones together and create a fire, you'll be very successful. If ten thousand years ago, if you would know which crops to grow, what kind of food to grow, you'd be somebody very successful. right maybe 200 years ago if you'd know uh, if you were someone who would know how to put together some wheels and create a bicycle you'd be very successful right if you like 50 years ago if you were somebody who knew how to send humans to space you'd be very successful and in the past few decades we have seen that people who know internet very well who know social media very well they have become successful talk about today people who make self driving cars people who can uh, make reusable ro robots uh, reusable rockets these guys are very successful now i would like every one of you to take a minute and think what would success mean 10 years from now what would success mean maybe in 2030 right and just take a minute i'll i'll keep mum and take a minute and maybe write down some random words what would you make which would be successful in 2030 you can write down your answers in these chats and i would love to read them and even if you don't want to write just just think about a few things right 
think about a few things which you would create which would become very successful in 2030 All right, all right. I, I think, I think everyone just, <laughs> yeah. All right, all right. Okay, so you might, you may have thought about creating something uh, related to the internet, maybe creating something which brings together people, to, uh, brings uh, people together, right? Now, uh, let me, let me try to, tell you, or maybe let me make you think what people would have been learning, which enabled them to create these successes, right? If you, if you talk about people from hundreds of thousands year back, right, they were learning, everyone in their uh, first 10 or 20 years was learning hunting gathering, right? If you talk about people uh, 1,000 to 10,000 years ago, everyone was learning how to grow better crops. If you talk about maybe the 1900s, the 1800s, or 1700s, everyone was studying religion, war, politics, sociology. And very recently, about 100 years ago, everyone started learning basic sciences. Right Now, uh, maybe uh, you guys didn't respond well, but yeah, I can still uh, see a few answers. Right, I would like you to think, what do you need to learn today to create something which would be successful 10 years from now? Just think about something and maybe I would love if you can uh, type a few answers here in the chat. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, creating oxygen. Somebody said creating oxygen, okay. Creating a tar, right? Artificial water, hydrogen fuel cells, right? Yes, carbon neutrality. One way or the other, everyone is talking about creating new technologies, right? You would require to learn about certain specific fields to create these. What fields would, be, would they be, right? The field of robotics, okay. Doing AI in space, somebody said. Filtering masks. Okay, okay. What else? Exactly. Somebody summarized my whole speech, right? The definition of success changes from decade to decade. In 2030, the best. <laughs> okay, yeah. Success for somebody would be ending hunger in the world. All right, all right. So, all in all, all in all, somewhere you are aware that technology changes very fast from a, from one decade to the other you need to keep updating what you learn right and as abbas rightly said that in today's era it has become very important to learn about artificial intelligence internet of things or robotics from very early on because these are the things which would shape the future a decade from now two decades from now right and that's exactly what we're doing at simpedia trying to make it simpler for people like you to learn about these technologies. And Coreva was one such attempt to bring, to bring, uh, bring together people like you who understand the importance of learning about these fields, these uh, so-called STEM fields from a very early age, right? And in today's era, you can't just learn by reading. Right? It's, it's very progressive. You need to get your hands dirty. You need to keep making things. Be it a very simple project, be it some art form, be it just a code, be it a robot, be it anything. You just need to keep making, right? And we created Sempedia with exactly the same things in mind. We created DIY kits, picture blocks, online courses, and whatnot. And as Jennifer pointed out, that after having the experience of uh, about four years in the industry and uh, after transforming hundreds of thousands of lives, after transforming the way uh, maybe hundreds of thousands of students are learning, Thousands of teachers are teaching across more than a couple of dozen countries. And uh, with whatever, after getting in touch with you and giving you something really great, 
we feel we are doing something good for today's youngsters, right? So with, with that definition, was Kodeva successful? Mm, yes. I think Kodeva would go back as being a chapter in, uh, in the lives of few of you and might as well be uh, the defining moment for you, uh, which would help you choose a goal in life. Maybe this is what you want to do. Maybe this is what you want to learn, right? So, my, uh, so what I would like to say is whether you win today, whether you're going back home with a prize today or not, Right. Whatever stage of learning you are, whether you know uh, the importance of AI or whether you're a master in AI, whether you are already in love with this field or you've just discovered this field and are trying and are exploring ways to learn, whatever stage you are, I just want you to go back home with a promise that you will keep learning, you'll keep progressing. Whatever field you choose, you'll just keep moving further in that field and you would love if we at Sempedia can help you uh, learn those things better. And if we can continuously stay in touch for a very, very long time uh, with all of you, right? So, that, so that's all I have to say. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you and all the best for this event. Thank you so much, Mr. Sharma. That was indeed very motivation, motivational speech. And I can see many, many future innovators in, as the attendees today. Moving on, we have our next speaker, Mrs. Asha Jadeja. She is a Silicon Valley-based venture capitalist who has invented in over 200 technology startups. She was one of the early investors in the now tech giants Google and PayPal. She also founded the Motwani Jadeja Foundation, a venture fund founded to develop a network of entrepreneurs in South Asia trained to think and drive exponential change. Asha Ma'am created and enabled the now popular MakerFest along with India's first network of fab labs designed to spark a manufacturing environment in India. As because of Asha Ma'am's previous engagement, we would like, we will have Asha Ma'am's video with us. Hi, this is Asha Jadeja uh, of the Motwani Jadeja Foundation. We are based in Silicon Valley and I'm delighted and happy to be um, sponsoring and supporting um, Codeva 2020, uh, which is um, which is designed to kick off and spark the imagination of uh, lots and lots of young entrepreneurs around around the globe. So delighted to be here, and thank you for inviting me. Um, I will be giving a certain um, uh, comments just now about various uh, trends that are happening in computer science and computation as it relates to health and health tech and uh, you know what are the various uh, opportunities that are in front of us in the COVID and the post-COVID world. About artificial intelligence, AI and machine learning, ML. AI and ML are two of the biggest developments that have happened in computer science over the last uh, 10 years. And uh, it is uh, as, as compute power goes up in uh, exponential uh, way, what we will see is uh, increasing amounts of uh, uh, intelligence being gathered from large data sets by computers, which can then allow us the predictability of, uh, um, of, of uh, you know, of, for, for the future, to be able to say that, to be able to predict trends for the future, to be able to predict threats for the future, and to come up with solutions real time without too much of a time lag. So AI is perhaps AI and machine learning are perhaps the two of the most important developments in computer science history. And uh, it's only going to be getting better as we go forward as when uh, quantum computing takes off. So the importance of uh, artificial intelligence and learning how to code, why is this important for today's uh, young people, for children? I think uh, from the age of six, children must learn how to code and must understand what is computation. It's very easy these days with uh, kids being exposed to, you know, to smartphones, um, understanding of what it means to create an app or to create uh, some kind of encoding environment using, uh, uh, you know, widely available open source uh, programs like Scratch has made it easy for children around the world uh, to have access to, to coding tools. It is crucial that we uh, have children even in non-English speaking village environments learn how to use uh, Scratch to understand what it means to code. 
it comes very uh, intuitively to children. So this is a good news. It's not something we need to really, uh, you know, spend huge amounts of, uh, you know, resources in, uh, in, uh, in explaining to children. When you explained, um, you know, the whole notion of what it means to get, uh, to give instructions in a computing environment and, get, and then get results out of that, children find it uh, very easy to take to that if they are in a gaming environment, especially if they can create many games out of it. And once they get hooked to this whole idea of gaming using uh, coding, they, coding becomes a way of life for children starting age six. And this should be our goal in the developing world also, uh, especially India where, uh, you know, computer science, math and science are, are extremely uh, respected fields of inquiry for our entire nation. So I hope that coding uh, becomes a, a crucial tool that our schools will deploy from age six and AI, of course, is an integral part of it. And these days there are a lot of off the shelf programs available. There's open AI available. Uh, so these are all um, platforms that children can use starting at a very early age. And uh, I hope that entities like STEMpedia will, uh, will create that kind of a proliferation of interest. So learning by doing, uh, that is an approach that again is crucial to India. There's a lot of interest in that space, There's a lot of uh, private sector activity that is, uh, that is enabling that kind of um, inquiry, deep inquiry. So what is the vision that, uh, what is the vision that drives me to work basically, you know, every waking hour, uh, thinking about what can be done so that, um, you know, in places where there is extreme poverty or even regular poverty, that we, we, we enable and empower our children, especially children actually, to, uh, to pick up skills that will serve them for the lifelong. My own mission is to find uh, people that, are, um, that have a curious mindset for problem solving. In any village or in any neighborhood that you go, you will always find uh, in communities, you always find two or three people that are uh, by themselves taking on the task of problem solving. Uh, just imagine giving powerful tools to these people. They will uh, problem solve at a different scale and they will be able to um, encourage and ignite a whole bunch of other people around them and their imagination to uh, problem for, solve for the community. This is not about uh, you know, creating large companies or things like that. But this is about problem solving in your immediate neighborhood, engaging community, creating community in the process and, uh, uh, you know, creating good lives for everybody uh, in, in the process. It doesn't really have to be about making lots of money or profits and big amount of profits and so on, but it's about community and livelihood in, a, in an engaging kind of a way. So yes, problem solving is the, is, is the, you know, is the key philosophical uh, driver of everything that we do right now in our own uh, foundation, Motwani Foundation. I would like to thank ma'am. That was indeed very kind words. I would again like to thank Mr. Asha, Mot Mrs. Asha Motwani Jadeja, Mr. Abbas Gabajiwala and Mr. Abhishek Sharma for motivating everyone. Moving on to the most awaited part of the evening, the prize ceremony. First of all, a big congratulations to everyone who participated in Code Ever 2020 AI. Let me remind you that whether you are a winner or not, you have done an amazing job on receiving many numbers of innovations that the little ones have created. Selecting the best ones was not an easy task, but after truckloads of coffee and sleepless nights, we finally were able to shortlist the winners. The winners have been chosen on the basis of their project description, the project file, and the explainer video. Over 50 prizes worth more than $6,000 have been awarded. So without further ado, let's begin the ceremony. First and foremost, the winners, the superstars of Codeva 2020. Let's take a look at the grand prize. The winners of each age group will be receiving an Apple iPad, gold medals, certificate, and an official Codeva 2020 AI t-shirt. Now let's take a look at who the lucky winners are. We have Arjun Gayatri as the winner of age group one. His project, Automatic Home Compost, 
my pictogreen buddy as a prototype to make the world a better place by composting the waste. Lithuli Payagar, a second time runner up, a second time winner of Kodiver from Sri Lanka in age group two, made Kodi 19, a smart robo powered by AI, AML, and NLP to safeguard children from the ongoing global pandemic. Next is Yashin from Tunisia of age group three. He designed a safe that protects your money along detecting the amount of money inserted using AI and ML. The winner of age group four is a team of Manoj and Arvind from India who made a COVID symptom detector using the ML to beat the pandemic and be ahead of it. A big congratulations to all the four winners. Moving on, up next are our first runner ups. They will be receiving the ultimate STEM learning robot kit. That is the Evive Starter Kit, a silver medal, certificate, and an official Codever AI t-shirt. The winners of these category are, in group one, we have Azlan from UAE and Arav from US. In group two, we have Enzo from Brazil and Shri from India. In group three, we have Samriti from India and team of Lucas and Marcos from Brazil. Finally, in group four, we have team, we have two teams from India, Dhruv and Molik and Parth and Sailish. A big congratulations to you. Next, we have the second runner-ups. They will be receiving the Smart T-Watch Kit, a bronze medal, certificate, and an official Codeva 2020 AI T-shirts. The winners of these categories are in group one, we have Vatsal from India and Rion from Sri Lanka. In group two, we have Mannath from UAE and Yashishta from India, from Jordan, uh, from India. In group three, we have Hussein from Iraq and team of Lean and Tala from Jordan. Finally, in group four, we have two teams, Radhika and Ajay from India and Nuru and Jaseen from Kenya. A big congratulations, guys. The next category is for our Powerpuff Girls, Girls in STEM. They will be receiving a Logic Blocks Blick Set, merchandise from our community partner Shiro's, certificate and an official Codeva 2020 AI t-shirt. The winners of this category are, in group one, we have Almira from Indonesia. In group two, we have Anna from Cuba. In group three, we have team of sisters, Rashika and Neha from India. And in group four, we have Angia from Colombia. A big congratulations to you ladies. Next category is the best game. They will be receiving the Discovery Motion Blick Set, certificate and an official Codeva t-shirt. The winner of these category are, in group one, we have Sayed from India. In group two, we have Benjamin from Indonesia. In group three, we have Sain from Thailand. And in group four, we have Samiksha from India. A big congratulations to them. Moving on to the next category, the best AI and ML project. They will be receiving the Smart T-Watch AI kit, certificate, and an official Codeva t-shirt. The winners of these category are, in group one, we have team of Aska and Ertha from Indonesia. In group two, we have Shashwat from India. In group three, we have Gaurav from India. And in group four, we have team of Salman and Atul from India. Congratulations to you. The next award is for those who have inspired and motivated the participants a lot in the form of videos, messages, or social media posts. The next category is for the top teacher and student ambassadors. The winners will be receiving an AI robot kit, certificate of champion change maker, and an official Codeva 2020 AI t-shirt. The winners of these categories are, in teacher ambassadors, we have Yusuf from Egypt, Ivan from India, Marjna from Egypt, Juan from Chile, Ther from Jordan, Edward from Uganda, Hossein from Tunisia, Shashikala from UAE, Nuru from Kenya, and Soumya from India. In student ambassadors, we have Sidra from Egypt, Sai from India, Asadullah from Iraq, 
Tanisha from India, Siddharth from India, Rinar from Egypt, Shivangi from India, Rashika from UA USA, Neha from USA, and Mustafa from Iraq. A big congratulations to all of you. Keep up the good work. If you think that was all, then think again. We also have consolation prizes for participation for participants who think who we think deserve the appreciation for putting in the efforts and creating the wonders they did. The winners will be receiving certificates and an official Codeva 2020 AI T-shirts. The winner of this category are Yahya from Iraq, Sudipat from Thailand, Neve from India, Kerolos from Egypt. Muataz from Iraq, Methuki from Sri Lanka, Sanumi from Sri Lanka, Kush from India, Kalpach from India, Rishabh from India, Daniel from Ghana, Rami from Iraq, Navneet from India, Sandeep from India, Aser from Egypt, Yashid from Egypt, Anish from India, Shushmit from India, Gali from Israel, Esther from Uganda, Suha Muhammad from Jordan, Hana from Jordan, Abdullah from Egypt, Matthew from Egypt, Adar Rahman from Egypt, George from Chile, Kaushal from India, and Virinder Singh from India. A big congratulations to all of you and many congratulations to all the winners. The prizes are ready to ship. Being a winner, you definitely want to share this super awesome achievement with all your friends. The best way would be to take a picture holding your certificate and prize and share it on your social media handles. While you do, do not forget to tag us and use hashtag Codeva2020AI. And those who didn't win, don't lose hope. Whether your name is on the list or not does not matter. What matters is that you have learned something new and became a better and brighter person than you were before. This means that everybody is a winner. Now comes the second most exciting part of the ceremony. We have super exciting surprise for you. I would like to invite Mr. Pankaj Varma, the Chief Technical Officer and the co-founder of STEMpedia to reveal the big surprise to you. Pankaj, the stage is yours. Uh, thank you, Jennifer. So first of all, uh, I, would con uh, I would like to congratulate all the winners and also the participants as well, because uh, definitely this is a world in which uh, there, uh, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, but definitely the thing that you uh, take back is the experience, the journey that you have uh, like gone through during the competition. And that, that is what we, uh, we appreciate a lot. We have seen a lot of students doing a, a great things and we appreciate that as well. Uh, I have a slide to share, I guess. Yeah. Are you? Oh, uh, yeah. So uh, during the competition, you were all working on picto blocks, and you have explored a lot of things in uh, on picto blocks, like artificial intelligence, machine learning, coding, gaming, uh, all those stuff. Now what we are bringing uh, is, uh, this is our new product that we are coming out with, which is Quarky. So if I want to define Quarky or a, what Quarky is, so whatever that you have learned in PictoBlocks or you want to learn more about artificial intelligence, you can uh, use that knowledge uh, with the kit in order to make something wonderful, like making self-driving cars, making real life projects where uh, you are uh, like recognizing the type of waste and the car is dumping the waste in the uh, like in a particular uh, like bucket and those kind of things you would be able to do with Quarky. So next slide. So with Quarky, you would be uh, like uh, we would be focusing on like uh, artificial intelligence. So how you can use artificial intelligence with tangible products. So like you know uh, like uh, artificial intelligence how it works you know like uh, you, some of you might know how robot works some of you might not know how robot works but you will learn the robotics and now and with both the things you would be able to make 
things like self driving cars and all the uh, all the exciting activities that we have planned with the kids as well you would also learn learn how you can uh, like make quarky mimic something uh, like suppose i am just uh, it's uh, it's recognizing what expression i am making and uh, making the express same expression and here remember what we are trying to focus is we are trying to focus on you learning the things and making the things on your own we don't want to give you something which uh, which is a uh, 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 end user uh, end uh, end product that you are using and learning ai with you will be building your own artificial intelligence and machine learning models and implementing it in your projects as well so this is what we are trying to bring with this product and uh, this product is uh, so there are there will be few variants in which it will be coming so uh, we we will be starting off with a quarky explorer kit using which you can learn the basics of physical computing or like how you can control hardware tangible things and then uh, the then the second kit would come where you will learn the basics of robotics so you will be able to make a simple robot or you would be able to make a vertical robot as well so there are different configurations you can build different projects you can build and you would be able to create a lot of things and learn a lot of concept through it as well the last kit is the quarky rover kit which would expand the learning and you would be able to make more complex robots and do you would be able to do more complex task as well so just to so showcase like you would be able to make something like this which is like having grippers so that it's uh, able to lift something and it has obstacle it has four uh, like uh, obstacle sensor it has four wheel drive uh, and it would be an upgrade of the innovator kit as well so so these are the three kits that we will be going to launch very soon in our next kickstarter campaign so we will be doing a crowdfunding campaign for this product where we will be taking out re, uh, taking out pre orders from the uh, from all over the world and uh, one uh, once our campaign has been ended we will ship out the products to all our uh, like all our backers who have who will support us uh, during the project so whether you are a, a, a educator whether you are a student whether you are a school this product would would uh, would eventually like you will find this product very helpful if you are trying to build your skills in terms of uh, artificial intelligence machine learning robotics and integrating all the things we have made this product so uh, so this is what uh, like we have the surprise and uh, we would be giving some quarky giveaways as well and uh, what uh, what you have to do is for the crowdfunding campaign we will be sending out the link in the chat uh, from where you can sign up the uh, sign up for the uh, for all the updates that we will be doing on the campaign so that you are able to uh, get update on when when uh, update when it's launch and this is something which uh, which is like uh, the next step of codever and i hope a lot of you would support us and would uh, join us into this uh, in, in 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 this thing as well and uh, we are looking forward for all of your support and uh, uh, all your feedbacks on the quarky kits we have sent uh, some samples to a lot of uh, Uh, a lot of people and have received great uh, uh, like great uh, testimonials from them reviews from them and we are very confident that you would be liking this product as well so thank you jennifer for giving me the time to introduce quarky to all our viewers and yeah thank you so much mr varma yes the ai robot kit that is the quarky innovator kit is the one that the winners of today's giveaway will be receiving Before announcing the giveaway winners, I would like you to I would like you to walk you through the journey of Codeaver 2020 AI and also hear what people around the world has to say about it. Challenging and compassionate. Good day, we're exciting. Amazing. Interesting. 
it's challenge to me i would describe it as a momentous competition a remarkable competition my very thing because it, uh, we were able to to come up with a project that can help protect the people around us um i just made up a word uh, super awesome actually most amazing for the word coding ta code tactic innovation biggest creativity fantastical Okay, so Codeavier is a platform which encourages young innovators to code. Obviously amazing. The future. I would say intuitive. Um, I will tell you uh, that was the future. The word Codeavier as endeavor towards coding. It was nice and amazing. Amazing. It was miraculous. It was fabulous. Interesting. Awesome. Uh, he said that it's fun. Exciting and marvelous for sure. That innovation and creative manner. AI for kids. Uh, future in lithium ions. Opportunity. AI scratch too. Innovation. Terrific. <laughs> with this 2020's biggest international ai and coding competition for kids comes to an end i'd again like to thank all our sponsors our community partners our business partners and our academic partners without them codeaver 2020 ai would not have been possible and most importantly thank you all the educators principals parents students and everyone else for joining us in codeaver 2020 ai and making it a success finally the winners of today's giveaway are dev from usa alfonso from italy enzin from turkey gabriel from italy and leonardo from indonesia congratulations to you and all the winners of codeaver 2020 ai see you in the next edition of codeaver good night